oh my god with like this glam look and like the all black outfit i'm like i feel like the wife that shows up at her husband's funeral and is like oh no what a shame <laughs> i don't know let's let's jump into the video Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my first update for my hashtag, can I say hashtag? For my hashtag drop 10 by summer project pan. If you missed the first video in this project, I'll go ahead and throw it up here or up here. I, I still don't know which one. I can't figure it out most days. I'll throw it up above if you missed it. That is my introduction to this project. So at this point, I've been working on these products for a month. The goal is to use up all these products by the end of the summer, which I'm going to call the end of August. So I started this project at the end of March, so I'm like March 23rd to the 26th, and I'm going to end it around that same time in August. So I've made some great progress on some products and other ones I just unfortunately like haven't been able to use that much at all. So before we jump into the video proper don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like Project Pans and you want to see any more in the future and I hope you'll subscribe and hit the little bell icon before you leave so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if you're interested in the look that I'm actually wearing today, I just filmed a tutorial about like everyday glam and wearable color I think I'm gonna call it like wearable glam for everyday life. So if that is already out, I'll go ahead and link that above as well. If not, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, so I just rewatched my introduction video and the first product I talked about there was the fragrance. This is the Avon Haiku fragrance. And let me, can I, can I, can I do this? Can I hold it against here? And it's literally almost gone. Like, I have like two more uses in here and it's gone. Like. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Literally, I don't know like if I could get all of that out because I have been using this fragrance every day. I've been using it a lot. I love this scent. But when it comes to Avon products, like I love their perfumes, but their lotions and their body washes don't work the best with my skin. I think it's because they are both heavily, heavily fragranced. And I'm used to wearing like a sprayable perfume like this one but their lotions and their body washes are just too fragranced for what my skin can handle. So the cheapest way to get this perfume is actually in the kit with the body wash and the lotion, and I haven't touched either of those. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this one up. I could definitely finish it up by tomorrow. I literally have like two uses left of this. And then once I finish it up, I'm just gonna move it out of my collection. I have plenty of other fragrances, and it's just really not worth it for me to buy that whole kit because it's cheaper than buying the perfume by itself just to use the perfume because I'm not using you know the lotion or the body wash but I do love this scent it is definitely a spring scent theoretically we're in the middle of spring even though we only had one nice weekend out of the last like six if you don't know I live in the northeast it's been rough <laughs> but anyway I've been using this fragrance I've really been enjoying it in our pretend springtime and you know what I'm gonna be happy to finish it up I used to be at a point where if I finished up a product I was like oh no where am I gonna get my next one? Oh no I shouldn't have finished it up so fast but if I enjoy it and I love the scent and I like using it then I should be happy to finish it because I actually finished a whole fragrance Okay, and next I'm going to talk about the primer that I picked. This is the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. And in my first, or in my introduction, I don't think I've really used this at all, maybe once or twice. And now I'm actually down to here. So I've used up the whole tube down to here. I've been using this almost daily, and I actually really, really like it. It does emphasize my pores a little bit, but I find if I use a matte foundation on top of this the finish is beautiful it makes my makeup last the only place that I don't like this primer is right on the tip of my nose but that's because I'm dealing with like a bad breakout right there and so I'm using a different primer a different um like concealer slash foundation just on the tip of my nose to deal with that but on the rest of my face I'm loving this especially on like my forehead like I'm loving it so I think I could probably finish this up by my next update because I really only have that much of the product left and I've used up this much since I've started this project this is something when I first got it I was like oh okay it's a luminizing primer whatever but I tried it out during this project and I really got into it and I find that I really love it like 
and I wouldn't have known that if I had not done this project. Okay. The other primer that I included in here I'm actually not getting as much use out of and that is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and unfortunately I found that this doesn't really react well with a lot of my favorite foundations. It tends to break down my foundation a lot faster than it would if I had used any other primer like the Dr. Brandt one. I'm thinking about using this strictly like at night, maybe like in my skincare routine just to finish it up because this was 20 bucks just for this little bottle and I'm not enjoying how it feels or looks under my makeup in the morning. So I think I'm going to try switching this up. I've only used it like three times and every time that I used it, my foundation broke down in places where it doesn't normally break down, like on my cheeks or on my forehead. Like normally those are like my best spots for foundation. But when I use this, it it didn't look the best. So I'm going to try and use this at least like before bed, part of my nightly skincare routine and see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't do anything there, unfortunately, this might just be a loss and I might have to declutter it before the end of this project because I found that it really doesn't work well for me but I'm really glad that I tried it out and I learned this now so I know that any of these like elixirs or like really really liquid primers don't work that well for me and that I should really steer clear of them next I included the two foundations I have the Dior skin forever undercover 20 and then I have the L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation the Dior is a little sample I've already used this twice and it's almost completely gone I'm actually struggling because I don't have enough left for a full face, so I don't know if I should just use it like partly. I need to wait until I'm like home alone all day and then just use like what's left of this because I know it's not enough for a full face to finish it up. When I first used this, I was actually really upset at how much I liked it. So I did like it a lot, it looked great on my skin, it worked well throughout the day, at the end of the day it didn't break down, it didn't look oily. I have this hesitation now when it comes to samples versus the full size because I had a sample of a Makeup Forever foundation that I loved. It was the perfect shade match, it worked well throughout the day, all the above. And then when I bought the full size of that same shade, the shade was different and it didn't perform as well. So it's a little strange to me that that would happen, but ever since that happened, I've been a little, uh, what's the word? I've been a little hesitant when it comes to foundation samples. So I love this, but I don't know if I'm going to go out and, you know, buy it right away, if that makes any sense. So I only have like half an application left of this before I finish it up. So I'll go ahead and like find like a weekend day or an afternoon where I'm not doing anything and just try to use up the rest of this just to get the use out of it. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in shade 204, unfortunately, I've only used twice. This really surprised me. I thought this would be the thing that would be the easiest to work through in this entire project, and I'm having the most trouble using the foundation. I found myself drawn to other foundations with different textures that just look better on my skin, whereas where I wear this one, it looks okay, but it can get too glowy, especially with the Dr. Brandt primer. I do mix this with a lightener just to get it to match my current skin tone, and I do have a few foundations right now that just match me better, so I think it's convenience that's drawing me more towards those other foundations that I don't have to get my palette out and like mix, where I could just grab them, throw them on, and then move on with my day. This one's a little bit harder to use, so I think I'm gonna like put away the rest of my foundations and just keep out this and the lightener so that I'm kind of like forced to use them by convenience more. So I'm going to try to get more use out of this one. Unfortunately, like the bottle is still mostly full because I've only used it like two or three times. Something I've actually made a good amount of progress on is my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. This was about two thirds of the way done when I started this project and I've been using this almost daily since this project started and I've worn this down quite a bit. I do not work like one spot over and over and over just, just to hit pan because I don't think there's really a point in that. If you're using something and you're working on it, I think you're, you're eventually going to hit pan. I don't think it's advantageous to work in just one spot so that you hit pan earlier even if you have a whole lot more product than like you would otherwise. So this is how much I have left right now. 
I'm pretty sure that I'll hit pan within like definitely by the next update but I have used it quite a bit as you can see there really isn't a whole lot left like I said, I have been using this quite often. I used it today. I've been using it whenever I have the chance to, so I think I will be able to at least hit pan before my next update for the paint pot. The next product that I've actually gotten a lot of use out of is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I have the shade Light Pale, and, and this is where I am currently at. It's a lot lower than where I started, and I've been using this quite often. I found that my favorite way to use this foundation is spot concealing still. I use this to cover up a little bit of the breakouts that I have down here during my period, and then a little bit of the redness that I carry on my cheeks. I love it. It works well underneath my favorite foundations. It blends in. It's like the perfect shade for spot concealing. I still don't like this for under my eyes, but I have been getting a lot of use using it to spot conceal every day. So I think I could finish this up in my next update. Next, I have the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter Pencil. I've sharpened this a couple of times. This is how long the pencil is now after I've sharpened it about two times since my first introduction to this project. I do like using this as a lower lash line like highlighter. It makes you look a little bit more bright, a little bit more awake. Unfortunately, I found that the pencil is so thick and chunky that it's hard to sharpen it. So once I use it down to like the end, I have to sharpen like a lot more of the product away just to get to the point where it's comfortable to use under my eyes. Excuse me. Because if you sharpen it too roughly, you'll get like parts of the wood like inside the product and then it hurts to use on your waterline. So that's my only critique of this product. It's really hard to sharpen it to the point where you can use it on your waterline, which I can understand it's not necessarily meant for your waterline, which is just what I find the best use out of it. But overall, if your product, if you have to sharpen a product like twice as much just to get the same like result as another product, then maybe it's not worth it even if it is more affordable because you're basically just sharpening away most of the product. Okay, my last two products I'm going to talk about together because I've actually been struggling to use these. Again, the products that I thought would be the easiest to use up, I'm having the most trouble with. And then the ones that I thought like, oh, I'll never use that up, I'm like working my way through them. So the first one is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. And the second one is the Tom Ford Lip Color in Indian Rose. I thought this would be a good nude combination and it is. But with the looks that I'm doing currently, I don't necessarily go for a warm nude lip. I have used up a little bit of the Tom Ford lipstick. This is all that I have left right now. That's the entire bullet. I think I could still use it up by the end of the summer, but I don't know how much, you know, pro progress I'm going to have by my next update. This is where I am at with my lip pencil and BFF. I'm finding it's really hard to sharpen these ColourPop pencils. Also, the product still pops out like that. I mean, overall, I'm just having, I'm, I'm struggling to use this pencil, A, because it's so messy, and B, because it always just like, like that, like it just pops out. This might be one that if I don't enjoy it enough, I might declutter it, but the thing is, I enjoy the color, I love the finish, I just don't like the packaging at all. The packaging is making me not want to use this product, unfortunately. Okay, and those are all of my products in my hashtag drop 10 by summer project. My goals for this next or the next update, which I will do at the end of next month, I am hoping to finish the Dr. Brandt primer. I want to hit pan on my MAC paint pot and I want to finish up that Dior foundation sample. So those are my three goals and I think they're realistic. I think I could really hit those three goals. So thank you so much for watching. I hope if you like this you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!